Howdy! It's Alexander here at AZ Firearms Auctions doing something a little bit special today. Now, if you haven't seen before, we did a unboxing on some old Soviet 762x54R. It was cool stuff in a galvanized tin on uh, stripper clips. And as it so happens, we have a whole bunch of Turkish 8mm Mauser also on stripper clips, also to unbox. So if I can bring you in a little closer, we can take a peek. Now, as you can see, I broke off the pull tab. Uh, that's more likely user error than anything, but I was still able to get it open. Um, being airtight shouldn't really affect the usability of this ammo. It gets a lot of flack for being a little bit too high pressure for semi-autos, but out of bolt actions, especially the strength of the Mauser action, these should do pretty well. When you get it open, there is a cardboard cover. This is a pretty good chance to take a look at it, see if there was any moisture that got in, any discoloration. It does look very good, so I'm just going to peel her on open. Just like opening a present, very neatly is 20 of these 70 round bandoliers. Each seven cells with two five round stripper clips inside. Uh, let us take them open, take them out, and ruin how perfect they look. Now it's interesting to note these are brass cased, brass jacketed, but um, these are copies of the German S-Ball, so it should be about 154 grains. Um, just jacketed ball. What's interesting about these stripper clips is whereas the uh, Yugos used uh, one piece of steel, the Germans used two. These are actually three pieces uh, with the spring kind of as a separate piece in between the contact surface of the case, or rather the, the head. Um, pretty cool to see, pretty unique design, and they work very well, uh, just a little bit thicker. And just like it was made yesterday. Uh, sometimes you'll find these with buttons in them. Uh, a lot of the time you won't. A lot of different years, of course. This one by the head stamp is 1951. Um, of course, they were neutral during World War II, so it's not rare to find World War II stuff still uh, in heavy circulation, but uh, 50 is fairly late. So there was too many to fit in just one auction, so they're going to be showing up in the next couple of months. Uh, of course, check them out at pogauctions.com. We also have a bunch of other surplus ammo, a bunch of new and used firearms. We're also always buying and consigning firearms, ammo, and firearm accessories. Once again, that is pogauctions.com, and I hope to see you there.